हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर द सोल्यूशन ऑफ सच मोर प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट डिटरमाइन द मैग्नीट्यूड एंड डायरेक्शन थीटा ऑफ एफ सो दैट द पार्टिकल इज इन इक्वेलेबल राइट सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ दिस फोर्स एफ एंड दिस थीटा विच दिस फोर्स इज मेकिंग विद द नेगेटिव वाई एक्सिस इज राइट इन आर्डर टू हैव दिस सिस्टम इज इन इक्वेलेबल राइट सो नाउ फॉर इक्वेलेबलम वी हैव two condition that is the summation of forces along x need to be equal to 0 and similarly the summation of forces along y need to be equal to 0 if the system is in equilibrium right <coughs> so to apply these two conditions first we need to resolve these forces into its components right so this 8 kN force will have two components it will have one component in this direction this one will be the cos component right so this will be 8 cos of 30 degrees and similarly it will have one another component which will be acting in the y direction which will be acting in this positive y direction so this component is the sin component we can say that this is 8 sin of 30 degrees similarly this uh, 4 kN force will have two components so it will have one component in this direction and since the, uh, this force 4 uh, kN force is making 60 degree with this uh, horizontal right so then this is the sin component we can say that this is sin component right so this is 4 sin of 60 degrees and similarly it will have one another component which will be acting in this direction right so this one is the cos component right so this is 4 cos of 60 degrees Similarly we need to resolve this force f into its components right so it will have one component in this direction right and it will have one another component in this direction as well right so then if this is theta so then this one is f cos of theta and this one is f sin of theta So now if we apply the summation of forces along x so then this sin component of this force f is acting in the positive x direction so we will write plus f sin of theta similarly this 5 kN force is acting in the positive x so we will write plus 5 this 8 cos of 30 is acting in the negative x so i will write minus 8 cos of 30 degrees and similarly this cos component of this 4 kN force is acting in the negative x so we will write minus 4 cos of 60 degrees equals to 0 now when we simplify this so this is f sin of theta minus 3.928 equals to 0 and we can say that f sin of theta equals to 3.928 and let's say this is equation 1 Now if we apply this summation of all forces along y equals to 0 so now as we can see that this 8 sin of 30 is acting in the positive y so we will write plus 8 sin of 30 then we can see that this 4 sin of 60 is acting in the negative y so we will write minus 4 sin of 60 degrees and similarly this cos component of this unknown force is acting in the negative y direction so i will write minus f cos of theta equals to 0 now uh, when we simplify this so we get this equation and from this equation we can say that minus f cos of theta equals to minus 0.536 and this negative sign will cancel out so we will be left with f cos of theta equals to 0.536 and let's say this is equation 2 now if we divide equation 1 by 2 so we can write that f sin of theta divided by f cos of theta will be equal to 3.928 divided by 0.536 so this f will cancel out right so we will be left with the uh, sin of theta divided by cos of theta and sin of theta divided by cos of theta is equal to tan theta so this ratio equals to uh, 7.328 so we can say that tan theta equals to 7.328 and theta will be equal to tan inverse 7.328 so this theta comes out to be 82.2 degrees 
right so this is the angle which was required and then we can find the magnitude of that force f by using any of these equations so let's say we use equation one so from equation one we can say that f is equal to 3.928 divided by sine of theta right so this is equation one so sine of theta and theta is 82.2 degrees so this will give us the magnitude of that force right so the force magnitude is 3.96 kilonewton, right? So this is the solution of this particular problem.